Happy Saturday. I decided to come out here uh, and go for a little hike. I'm out at Browns Mill Battlefield uh, Park in Coweta County. Um, this is, I believe, the only battle that took place um, during the Civil War in Coweta County. I know that uh, Noonan was a neutral zone due to being a hospital uh, for uh, the Civil War. Uh, they have some marked areas of uh, cemetery out here. I don't know if you can see that white PVC pipe. There's some on both sides. Uh, some are easier to see. The graves are actually unmarked. Oh, here we go. There's one right there. There's several throughout this area. Uh, I don't know what their plans are. Here specifically, they do have that tree mark. There's another one. It's actually a pretty little hike. Um, they do have some historical markers through here and some uh, nature markers as the native trees growing in Georgia. There's another one. There's another one. Me and a friend of mine came out here a lot about two years ago when we were doing our somebody's walking a puppy out here uh, doing our 365 miles in a year or calendar year hike. She was getting ready to go to um, Spain. I think it's called the El Nino walk that they, St. Paul did. Here's some information on the land lottery from 1827. site was moved. I've read this before. There you go. It's a little windy. Uh, it's probably in the 40s right now. Mid 40s. We got a little cold snap. It's supposed to get colder tonight. And it rained like pretty much all day yesterday. So I wasn't able to get out. I could have, but I definitely would have hiked in the rain before, but preferably not the, the rain and the cold. Here's a native tree for Georgia. They have several leaves throughout the park. been out here. There's also a few new benches. So I'm wondering if a uh, Eagle Scout did did an Eagle Scout project out here. My son's an Eagle Scout, but uh, many years ago now. He got his out of Sonoy, Georgia. And since then that troops disbanded as the uh, scout leader sadly passed away and uh, nobody else picked up where he left off. A lot of the kids got their Eagle Scout that year. He pushed them hard because he knew about his uh, terminal diagnosis. 
some more tracks. I've seen deer track out here and caught a deer once or twice. Not caught one, but caught images of a, a deer. There's a mountain bike trail out here, which is which is nice. I've not been mountain biking out here before, but a lot of people do. They have a bunch of switchbacks for that trail. And uh, yeah, it looks, looks like a very nice trail for people who enjoy mountain biking. So about two years ago, when Laura and I were doing this hiking challenge, I think the furthest I did was an 11 or yeah, 11 mile. I uh, did a 10 mile, mini five miles, a couple six, seven, eight. But we would have to do at least two miles on um, non-concrete uh, trails or parks. And then we did several of the state parks and I worked on a getting a little medals for my hiking stick as to she. Since then I've added a few other ones. Um, my goal is to get back into doing this and get back into shape. After she retired and technically moved because she, when they went over there for eight months and uh, they've been traveling, she popped back over to visit and she and I did a uh, two mile hike together just for kicks and giggles. But right after she left, I had a hard time with it. So we spent a lot of time together. She and I also worked together before she retired and uh, there's one on the turkey we got a power line I think this is pretty oddly pretty uh, it's got rolling hills and then the uh, switchback trails for the um, mountain bike I don't know if you can see it, but it's going that way and that way and it crosses over the main path. Anyways, her, her, her um, retirement and move was tougher than I thought it would be. I missed her and I just kind of stopped cold turkey. It's funny that it just passed the sign of the turkey, but um, yeah, now I'm trying to get back into it again. So I started walking in my neighborhood and now I'm gonna start getting back out on the on the trail. We also did a little kayaking together. So maybe I'll get back into kayaking. There's another coworker that would go with us sometimes, so um, I'll have a buddy to go with. My husband's not big into um, doing uh, that kind of stuff. There's a little information about animal tracks, which is pretty muddy out here right now, so definitely spotting some animal tracks in the mud after that um, hard rain. We're getting close to, this is a, there's a couple of, uh, there's a blue and a red walk. I'm on the red. We're getting close to being back at the front. Both of these trails are circular. And uh, you can intertwine. There's a, 
a few other trails mixed in that are shorter. The Cougar Trail, which we always got a kick out of that one. And there's a, I think there's the Indian Trail out here too. There is a lot of uh, Native American history in Georgia. All right, we're coming up on where the one of the bike switchback trails um, meets over to the walking trail. It goes back that way, and there is no uh, motorized vehicles uh, allowed on this uh, trail. I think the quality of the video because I'm hiking and I don't have a GoPro this kind of seems like reminds me of the Blair Witch Project but during the daytime it was pretty shaky and uh, if I remember right folks that were running around were probably as winded as I am on that video. So this was the map of the red and blue trail and it is emitting a few. Again the Cougar Trail is not on there or the Indian Trail. And it also does not show the biking trails there. So this just goes down, cuts around, and comes back. It's not very far. And this heads back to the parking area. They have a couple of the nice benches throughout the park. And as I mentioned, there's some extra or new ones. Since I've been out here. According to the geocache map, there claims to be a geocache out here somewhere. I attempt to look for it. It's somewhere in this, supposed to be somewhere in this area. And there's lots and lots of ground pine straw leaves. Maybe if I had a, a better device it would more accurately pinpoint location, but I was unsuccessful finding that. I do like to get out here and geocache or when I'm hiking, check out the geocaches and I found several. However, right now in Georgia, that would be, I know it's a little cool today, I'd be a little careful walking around in there from rattlesnakes and especially copperheads are super hard to see as they blend in very, very well to that ground cover right there. I saw a uh, brown snake, non-venomous, in our driveway about two weeks ago, a baby one too. So they're hatching. Thankfully it was non-venomous. My husband stepped right over it not realizing it and I'm like, uh, um, did you see the snake? No. The snake was being super still and he was chilling by a stick. So I think Hubs thought it was a, a stick. Again, non-toxic, non-venomous. I just pointed it out and we let him, let him go. I have a friend's daughter who's into reptiles and I sent them a picture and they were able to identify it. Uh, I'm spacing on the name of it right now, but it was brown something was in its name, which uh, 
kind of dub because oh, it's a brown snake. I work with a gal who also um, has a minor or in biology, I think she had a minor in biology also. So she knew what it was when I showed her the picture. And I know that you, I'm not an expert at identifying snakes, but I know you can kind of tell um, if they have the viper head, the eye shape uh, versus a round head and the shape of their eyes. Of course, the rattlesnake is typically obvious. I'm not sure about the baby rattlesnakes as I've not seen one in person before. So I have seen several adult species and they stick their little tails up and rattle at you some of them like to chill out next to logs but they do love rocks and I had my cousin almost step on one next to a tree my dad's pretty sure he got struck by one walking through some tall grass one time but fortunately he had some uh, waders on he felt something hit his leg but it didn't go through the waiter right here is some information about the big raid several of those through right here. This is the uh, McCook's Raid, I believe, was the one that happened in the local area here. There we go. Right here is the Brownsville Battlefield Interpretation Pursuit. Okay, so this one came through here. Um, looks like it started in Lovejoy, went through Fayetteville, got Whitewater, and then heading toward Noonan. There you go. And then the Battle of Browns Mill. Detour to battle. More of the Battle of Browns Mill. And then the aftermath. So there is a cemetery in Noonan called Oak Hill. There's a reference to that. specifically read this one. My husband's big into reading the little signage on the trails. I just mostly like to get out and enjoy the nature portion. Um, cool, the dogwoods blooming. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And we're swinging back around to the parking area. So I'm about to conclude my little walk for the afternoon. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day. It's a little chilly again. However, when you get out and exercise, you warm up nicely and it's not too hot. Definitely done some of these hikes in the summer in Georgia. And man alive. That could be rough. I'm coming back around to the front and 
over here is a nice open field where sometimes they come out and teach the youngsters uh, safety and whatnot of mountain biking. They are not here today. Alrighty, have a good day.